Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, coming back with the first episode of the day. So I'm feeling really positive today, quite energetic, and I feel like doing three different episodes. So we're going to do two on COC and one on Clash Royale. So stay tuned, all of them will be coming up within the next four to six hours. So what we've got in store for you right now, this episode is something truly quite special. So about a week ago, maybe just over a week ago, I built a new Town Hall 9 anti-3 star war base. Of course, it was 100% built by me. But of course, you guys want to see some defensive replays. Now, I am Town Hall 11, and obviously, I'm not Town Hall 9, so I can't do replays for you. But kindly, my clanmate Jasu, who is also a YouTuber and does very good base builds, has kindly decided to use the base, which you can see on screen right now. And we have some great replays to show you. Now, I will link Jasu's channel, guys. The first link in the description box down below. He is a legit YouTuber who does really good bases. He doesn't just make a random base and put it up and call it, like, anti-3 star. He makes proper bases. If they are anti-3 star, he will provide you with proof. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you leave a thumbs up and let's go into the first replay. Okay, just to make sure none of you attack me, I'm going to do a massive disclaimer. Disclaimer, I don't want to see any hate in that comment section. I'm going to tell you right now before the main part of the video starts, no one uses that great of an attack strategy on this base. I mean, yes, it hasn't been three-starred. It's only been used in the last two wars and it hasn't been three-starred. And this is a Town Hall 10 attacker. Now, yes, he does have very low heroes, and he is using a Queen Walk with a Go White pretty much. Oh, no, sorry, just Wizards and Golems. So he's not using that great of an attack. And the other replays, which you are also going to see in the episode, aren't that great either. But the base itself still managed to hold off a Town Hall 10 and a couple of Town Hall 9 attackers. And it hasn't been three-starred yet. So I would say if you are willing to try it out, guys, then please feel free to use this base. Trust me when I say it is built to perfection, guys. Obviously... Any Town Hall 9 base can be triple starred, but you change it up a little bit, you want to put the traps in weird places, and it usually can help you win the war if you use bases like this. So as I said, feel free to use this base and let me know what you think about it in that comment section. So as we can see, the wizards aren't really getting that far into the base, and in fact, we are zapping down those little Harry Potters pretty damn quickly. I mean, they've got so many of them. I've never seen this many wizards try and overrun a base. It's like they're all going back to Hogwarts, except we ain't taking them in, guys, because Voldemort is running Hogwarts from now on, and we're about to put more scars on their foreheads. So yeah, pretty much... You can see the Queen Walk is going around the outside of the base. She's going to take a very long time, especially when she goes into the center to get through those level 10 walls. Jasu is maxing out his base, and he's been working on it for a very long time. As I said, guys, please go and subscribe to Jasu. He's a very long-time friend of mine. He's been in the clan, he's extremely loyal, and he's a great YouTuber, and he really doesn't have the subs that he deserves. He only has like 17, 18,000, so let's get him to at least 20,000 subscribers. Oh, and if you do go over there, put in the comment section on his latest video, hashtag Tony is better than Jasu, or something like that. You know, just something to annoy him a little bit. Give him like a little poke from me. That would be great, guys, and I really appreciate that. So yeah, the Queen's making her way into the center, but as I said... This beach ain't passing. We ain't gonna let her pass, guys. We're gonna stop her at those walls there. She is gonna eventually get in, but remember, there are some double giant bombs inside of there. The expo, obviously, is trying to take her out, but it's just not gonna happen. Now, obviously, if she's able to take out the air defense, then she would be able to three-star the base. But because they took so long to do the raid, she's gonna actually run out of time. And then, my god, we had only got two-starred, and we actually ended up winning the war. In fact, we've won, like, four wars in a row, or three wars in a row right now. We're doing pretty damn good because we're not the best clan out there, but we're still doing pretty good. And so there we have it. That is the end of the first defense. And, of course, the Town Hall 10 attack is over. Now, as I said, it, admittedly, it's not the best Town Hall attack. In fact, it's very low-level heroes and quite a strange attack strategy to be using on a Town Hall 9, to be honest. But it still failed, and the base is still anti-three-star, as you can see from that replay. Now, here comes a second attack. I believe this is a Town Hall 9 using a Max Golem in the Glen Castle, a couple of Golems, and once again... Not the best attack strategy, as I said, I said a disclaimer, guys, I'm not going to bullshit you, they aren't the best attacks, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to be 100% legit, the base is anti-3 star from what we can see so far, but obviously it hasn't had the best attack strategies on it, so we are going to continue to bring you some more replays, Jasu, if you are watching this, which you should be, you little bugger, keep using the base, and we will continue to bring other replays, and then me and Jasu can do another collab later on. So this guy's trying to move in, he's using a hill spell, he's using the rage spell, he's trying to get the troops into the center. The giant big bombs go off, unfortunately they only hit the golems, I believe. He's used his king's ability, but look at the level of the heroes, guys. Very low level heroes, and it's just not going to work. I mean, a Town Hall 9, a maxed out Town Hall 9, with, especially with these level walls, 
and he's only got those level heroes, it's going to be game over pretty damn quickly. Jesu's base is going to defend. The guy isn't going to be able to take even like anywhere close to a triple star. I think he doesn't even go over 60%. Oh, he gets 68%. My bad. He gets about 68% using some minions and some archers to clean up around the outside of the base. But yeah, once again, guys, obviously the double giant big bombs were kind of wasted in both raids by the golems. Because as we all know, golems are really damn good at taking out spring traps, big bombs, little bombs, and just a variety of different traps. They're tanks at the end of the day. And if they use correctly, they can really, really help to three star Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 10s, and even Town Hall 11s. There's a second replay, guys. Once again, another two star. And so we make our way into the third and final defense. And once again, coming in from a Town Hall 9 attacker. Now, as I said, guys, I will admit, very low level heroes. In fact, this is only a two-star attack strategy. So I have no idea why this guy really even attacked Jasu's base. As I said, Jasu's base is pretty damn maxed out. He's almost got max level heroes, max level walls, very decent level heroes. His heroes are better than all of their other heroes. And they were like Town Hall 10. So Jasu is doing a great job with his base. One question, guys. This week, I am almost in Titans League. I'm actually playing COC right now as I make this episode. And we've just gone over 4,000 trophies for the second time, guys. So what I'm going to say is, would you like me to do Titans League pushing episodes this week? Or would you like to see, I don't know, maybe some base builds, maybe some Tunnel 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s. Or if I'm feeling really energetic and positive like I am today, I don't know why I'm feeling like this, guys. Then maybe I'll try and make like two or three episodes a day just on COC to bring you some base builds and also bring you some pushing content and of course maybe a little bit of trolling. Just a variety to keep you guys entertained. So if you do want to use this base and you maybe want to modify it a bit, let me know in that comment section. This is coming to the end of the episode guys, but as I said, do not fear, for we are here and we are making more videos in about an hour's time. So stay tuned to the channel. If this is the first time seeing the channel guys, please feel free to subscribe. We are approaching the big 300,000 subscribers. Can we hit a thousand likes on this, guys? I hope you have enjoyed it and do love the base. Let's just see the rest of this raid out, guys. The peck is about to fade away. See you later, darling. We will see you maybe another day. Maybe not, though. You're dead now, so we probably won't see you another day. Although she's just a, just a computer, so she's fake anyway. So we probably will see her another day, guys. I will see you shortly. Peace out.